Okay, I think we may be live now. Oh, yes, Ooh, we are. <laughs> how exciting. Well, let me just have a look. I'm looking now. Hello, everyone. It is Kate Denning here coming to you live from Broadbeach. Hi. And, we, and this is Michelle. Michelle oh, Milne. Is yes, that how you pronounce yes, it? Michelle Milne Cook. So um, I'm down here today and we are going to do some readings together. But first of all, um, everyone knows the teas that I've been using, <laughs> these beautiful teas. This is actually the lady that has created them. So I'm going to hand you over to Michelle and she can explain a little bit about the teas and how they came about and um, what she does because Michelle's also a very well-known clairvoyant and she lives down here um, in Broad Beach and her car is gorgeous. <laughs> the number plate is psychic and <laughs> she has got this witchy poo painted on the side of her car. It's oh, just, we'll have to show it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So we'll try it. We'll, we'll put up some photos. That's what we'll do. We'll put up some photos in the comments after. And um, like the usual tea leaf readings, I'll take the photos of the tea leaf reading, the, the cups of tea after, and I'll put them up so you can have a look at them and see exactly what we were seeing. Uh, so I've got a few things to tell you about today. I am allowed to now talk about the, um, the retreat that we're doing up at Nebo. So I'll give you a little bit more information on that after. It's a full weekend retreat. It's 100 k's inside, uh, inland from Mackay. But anyway, let me introduce to you Michelle from... Oh, I know, I'm just trying to share this into my group because they're going to be so excited to see you anyway. I can't find it. Oh my God, you've got to give me two seconds. We're, we're, oh. we're just learning how to how to share into other pages. Oh, we're Oh, old. now I'm doing my usual giveaway. Um, Actually, no, this Done. week it's not going to be a book. This week it's going to be a half hour reading with me. And all you need to do is comment oh. me, please, and you need to share. And at the end, I've got the lovely Karen that's helping me out. So she's commenting and answering your questions today. And she will pay, she'll give me a list of everyone that has shared the page and commented me, please. And then I will tell you at the end who the reading is for. You don't need to live in Brisbane or down the Gold Coast because we can do a one-on-one -on -one reading on FaceTime or over the phone. But anyway, back to Michelle. Oh, back to me. <laughs> <laughs> we love to chat. Um, yeah, so my uh, brand is Witchy Poo Brew. Um, I'm known as the Witcher Moons Lane. Um, how this actually actually sort of was created my teas I'm going back quite a, quite a few years ago my um, oldest daughter has um, auditory processing and she finds it very hard to listen or to concentrate and so I was just playing around with all my herbs and things like that and I came up with my first tea which was actually the focus tea um, and then of course being a practicing witch of 20 years I decided to also put the intent in it when we're doing my circle work um, through a full moon but what was great about that particular tea is it actually was helping my daughter concentrate um, and so through that we all started to <laughs> some of the teachers were saying hey let's give, give, give some of this tea to our other students um, and then from there the focus tea is actually the most popular um, the Rabina hospital all the doctors are on it <laughs> in between their shifts <laughs> <laughs> well, focus, 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 which is really good. And so, so then there was the love tea had to come next uh, simply because we all want love. And a lot of people think, oh, well, I have love in my life. The, this was actually uh, not for bringing love into your life, although it does do that. It was more of love of oneself. So... Uh, it's more to find love when you're loving one yourself. It's interesting how people then start to love you back um, because you won't put up with this and you won't put up with that. So you're not going to be a, a door a door stop for everyone. And then of course came the meditation tea, um, and then the last one was the money tea, which is really an abundance tea. So is it working? Because <laughs> we are yeah. we're not going to rest. We're just like it's dumb and dumber here. <laughs> you 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 keep you keep talking because you what I'm doing, I'm I'm editing the post <laughs> and I'm putting the information up the top of the page. Okay. So this is actually quite handy having you here because you can fill in the time and be chatting while oh. while I'm doing this. 
so I've just put up my phone number and oh I've got my phone number up there twice but that's okay that's okay you can ring it yep. twice <laughs> um, <laughs> Karen is putting in the comments my um, my website and um, my Facebook page is the spiritual realm with Kate Denning so you can go on there and check anything that you want to um, well, the great news that um, I want to share is we've got a, a beautiful Lightworkers Festival that's coming to town in Brisbane um, on the 12th and the 13th of September, and we're really, really excited, and it's so exciting because we're going to have the Kate 12th there. and the 13th. The 12th and the two 13th. Days. Two, two days. days. Two days. Is two days of one? absolute fun. Is that the one at the RNA showground? Yes, that's the one we're going to do. Um, it's taking it back to where the original uh, Lightworkers ever started, so the MBS originally. or um, So this is the very first place that they actually all congregated together and did a big a big show. And so we're bringing it back to the original soil. Uh, but this time it's not in a big a wool shed like it was last time. They've actually created uh, the show bag stand. Ooh, it's I now like a wool shed. It's now, well, the show bag stand, they've now made an, a beautiful um, conference area. Um, so it's all lovely. You won't have to be going, ah, oh, it's all lovely. I am um, ice cool air conditioning, which is really good. Oh, but yeah, we're going to have, it. we're going to have, um, all the alternative stands, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're definitely going to be there. Um, but getting back to the tea, I'm so blessed that you're using that. Thank you for, for doing that. Oh, because I love it. It's been so popular too. Well, the great thing is with this, it, it has been in the circle, but you do have a chant on the back that actually you say to invoke the spell to come through. But the other thing um, too about it is I actually bath in it. I know that it says, but, but because oh, the herbs, you? well, because the herbs are also in for this, it's kind of like washing yourself with it. I do do soaps as well, but with the tea, if I'm just having a bath and I'm just visualizing, um, you know, if I'm wanting to meditate or something like that, I actually just sprinkle a little bit in the bath as well because all those herbs are, are great because you've got lavender and of course lavender calms you down. So if you put it in your bath. Oh, <laughs> she never told me this before. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, and the same with the love because it's roses in there. So you put your roses in there as well. So yeah. So um, I also do that with the lemon. I put that in, especially if I want to cleanse. If I'm doing a big cleanse, a spell cleanse, where I'm removing negativity, I actually use my um, lemon tea because it's got all the herbs in it that you would use for it. I just then add a handful of salt. I will find out more <laughs> for you, <coughs> and I'll put it up on my page. Yeah. And we'll have like a menu of what it is that you can do with these these different teas. Yeah, and I also just found out that Kate does tarot, and I I always thought she only did tea, so I can't mm -hmm. wait to talk about that as well because you actually do classes, don't you? Oh, I've got a class coming up this Sunday on the nineteenth, so I do have a few more spots left. So if Ooh. you would like to learn to um, do tarot um, Sunday the 19th and I will be doing that in at the tea room at Wollongabba so um, just get onto my page and have a look and send me a message and I'll get back to you yep. yeah and I'm also going to come down to see you too because I want to show everyone that everyone at home you should see the amazing spiritual tea room she's got it's just <laughs> like you you're stepping back in time it really is you just sort of looking and go oh, wow <laughs> It's a, you know, and you have all the scones and the <laughs> strawberries and the cream. It's just lovely to and have your Devonshire tea, cheese. your high yep. teas. Um, so definitely, I'm, I'm going to bring the uh, bring it around and show you guys um, on the Lightworkers page um, what you can expect when you go into Kate's place. Mm. <laughs> I usually do the shows from there, but I just thought, no, I need no. to get out on the road and yeah. oh, nice here. back out in my gypsy wagon. I have so much fun. Yeah, gypsy's got to be a gypsy. Yeah. You got to so, travel. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm sort of torn between the both of them because I'd love doing both, but I thought I'd sort of play around a bit with it and um, take this out one week and um, <laughs> oh, next week I'm going to be at Shay's place, Shay de Montford, so oh, she's going yeah, to be Shay. doing yeah. Yeah. Miss Magic. Yeah. Yep, so well. she's going to be doing a special prayer for us. We did the prayer last week at meditation. Um, for the rain and it's been raining ever since which yeah. has been beautiful. Oh, well, yeah. It's been great. I'm getting all my little witchy friends from my coven. We've all been doing the um, the blessings as well and I think that I think that this is a long time coming and uh, I have a girlfriend who's in the outback in New South Wales and she, she actually said for the first time, she said she'll be like me and Dad's naked in the rain. <laughs> so she's out there now, she said she's in a dr really drought and fire stricken as well um, and it's raining so oh 
amazing, <laughs> Both amazing written. girls. We had a had a wonderful witches tea party at the tea room on um, Saturday night for the full moon, and it was a brilliant night. And some of the girls hadn't been to these type of events before, and because I called it the witches tea party, they, you know, they did ask, do we have to go outside, you know, if it and dance in the nude? And I said, well, if it starts to rain, yes. <laughs> but no, we didn't. We they were going, please don't rain, please but, don't yeah, rain, please don't rain. But it was a, it was a fabulous night, enjoyed by all, and we will be doing another one next full moon, which I think is around the eighth or the ninth of. February and we do a full moon ceremony and um, we do like psychic readings so everyone gets readings and gets passed fun. around palmistry tea leaf reading tarot yeah. so yeah, yeah and, and the ceremony as well so it was an awesome night had by all so we're going to have some teas now. I'm just thinking, yeah. where did I put my open t oh, I don't know. Okay. I've, just, I've just got to tell you, it's yes. all organic, Australian made as well. I uh, use the Australian Tea Masters that help me mix it all. Um, and it has got a little bit of black tea in it because witch's tea does have black teas, but it's mainly herbal. Um, and also I'm coming out with a green tea range and I've got a signature tea coming. A moon tea. Oh. That'll, nice. that'll take over everything. You'll just do the oh. boot here because it's going to have healing. It's going to have healings in it. I'm just trying to work out now what type of mushroom I can get in there. Oh, so we can use that one for the full moon ceremony. Yes, you can. Oh. That just reminded me when you were talking about it. I'm going, oh, that's where I'm going to tell Kate that. Oh, how <laughs> exciting. And these teas are, like when they're blended, they are actually made on the full moon. Yep. Yeah, yep. so, they put in a, a circle and all the blessings go in for the love or the abundance um, and you know you, you drink it for seven days, you say the chant on the back and then watch what happens. Um, I had a really funny story of a lady, she came up to me because a lot of people were sort of, oh I can't believe this has happened, this has happened. And this lady came up to me and she said, oh I've been drinking your love tea and I must say that worked, I actually did meet a really nice guy. And I went, oh that's, that's oh. brilliant. And she said, but unfortunately your money tea didn't work and I said, oh why? And actually Sarah was with me, um, she, she reminds me of this, we started laughing. Um, she said, but um, you know, the money tea didn't work. And I said, oh, okay. And I said, well, tell me about the, the love. She said, oh, he's just asked me to marry him. And I said, oh, that's great. And she said, he's just inherited all this money. And I went, well, it kind of did work then, oh, did it? Because you're does marrying that not, does, that, does that not count? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't you don't know where it's going to come from. Yeah, that's right. Yep. And it could even be with the abundance tea. I've had um, people, and this is funny. I've, I've actually got them written up. They're saying, um, I can't believe it. I know I know this is silly, but I really want to paint my house. And Dulux is going to cost me this particular color, a fortune. So she said, I was drinking the tea, and she said two weeks later it was all half price. She was like, I couldn't believe it. I went in. Oh. <laughs> so it's just it works in what ways that you need yep. it. You know, things like that. I had another lady, she had an engagement ring um, and that actually went down because they got a whole lot of new jewellery in and she got her engagement ring for half price. Um, Sharon, she was excited. <laughs> See, it's all about like where you can save your money too. Yeah, that's right. It works in magical ways, really does. Um, I didn't take any photos of the, um, on, on Saturday night, sorry, with the full moon event. Oh. I just saw somebody... Oh, you get so, so into it, you forget, oh, don't you? And then it's like, I should have recorded that. We were having so much fun, and yeah, it's like I just totally forgot. Yeah. And my husband was most, he was meant to be there, and he's pretty good at taking photos. But he went up to his mum's place that day to bring a bed home, and he hit his head on the trailer and cracked his, you know, split his head open. So he couldn't come in because he's he had too too bad a headache. Oh. Hi Pandora, the well, lovely Pandora is here. <laughs> Hi Deborah. So let us know where you're from. I saw there was one from Scotland that came through before. I just had to move my my stand a little bit so I could see the messages that were coming through. <laughs> we thought nobody was talking to us, did we? <laughs> oh, I could see the messages coming up. I just couldn't see who they were. Oh, so okay. yeah, um, don't forget to share. And you will go into the draw to win a half hour reading with me, which I'll draw at the end. And um, we've got some workmen that have just pulled up be <laughs> beside us. There's a, tr there's a truck that we can see at the back of the, um, from the UK, Perth. Um, what is Oh, yeah. I don't know, they're doing some cleaning up around oh, the okay. side. Oh, <laughs> as long as they don't stick us in there. They're, their, they're, building, in their some, they're building something in the school. Yeah, so. 
As long as I don't collect us. Hi, Corinne. Hi, Claire. Claire's from Adelaide. Hi, Hi Pandora. Leanne. Tracy. Tracy from Brisbane. Morning, Leanne. Louise She's from the UK. Louise Schofield. She was my bridesmaid. Oh, was she? <laughs> Many <laughs> moons ago. And how long ago was that? Oh, gosh. I don't even want to think. I might give away my age. No, it's not my oh, We've been there, been within 20 years now. Yeah. Oh. I got married in 97. Oh, and I haven't met him then. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And a you're still bit married. Older, you should be oh, into trading by now. No, no, he's wonderful. He does so much. Um, a lot of the a lot of the people that are on the show, like no, the, no, that listen, they, they know about Russ because I talk about him all the time. Like, uh, I just wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my husband. Yeah, he just lovely. does so much for me and he's basically saved me he's absolutely absolutely awesome so i'm actually going to try and get him onto one of the shows because we've had a lot of people um problems with their their marriages and so we were going to do a bit of a couples thing um one oh, therapy. time therapy yep that's not a bad and, idea actually. um you know russ and i were going to talk about what we do um to help like what we do to stay so close together and yeah so we'll bring him on one day and um he'll probably give away all my secrets you know <laughs> poor thing he's got to put up with me it's like oh i want a wagon yeah yeah <laughs> and I, you know, I stamp my feet i got my wagon <laughs> then i just signed up to get the sleeves for the shop before he knew about it oh my <laughs> poor, gosh poor man to scare the shit out of him so <laughs> Um, oh, I think a happy, hi, Michelle. Happy, happy wife, happy you, life. You look making. You look making, Sharon. Oh, Sharon. Sharon! Sharon was the one that actually drank my tea, as I was talking about before, to get a wedding ring. Ah. <laughs> hi, Sharon! <laughs> Hello. We were just talking about my teas, and I was talking about the money tea and how, how you had to get your <laughs> wedding ring half price. Did you hear me? <laughs> all the, so we've got all the night owls in the UK. I'll tell you what, oh. I'm a night owl myself. And it's just after 9.30 here in the morning. I'm meant to be on at 8.30 in the morning. Oh, it's too early. Because it's daylight savings. Yeah. And, and I just can't awake. do it. And nobody's I got awake. caught up in the traffic. Yeah. Like, this is over an hour away from home. No. And also, too, that's the time that everybody's <laughs> either, it, during the week on a Thursday, when it's back to school, everyone's trying to get in, get in the traffic back yeah. to school. They, they can't be watching this. So, no, I think it's a great time. Or even 10.30 is a good time yeah. for you. So what else have you got coming up? Well, we have got the um, the Lightworkers Festival, which is huge, which is the 12th and the 13th of September. And that is a, a basically a new concept where we're going to have the read, not a reading room, but read is sort of segregated right throughout. Um, we, we're also going to have televised events where we're going to have people that we can get from overseas that don't necessarily have to be here, but you can see them and they can see you. Um, I just really think it's going back to sacred ground because we're just going back to when the original first big lightworkers festival of its kind ever started. Um, it started by a guy called Robert, who's no longer here. Um, but I'm very excited because I just feel, as I said, going back to home ground, uh, we're doing alternative stalls. It's all really about the light workers. So it's going back to the original healers, the tea leaves, the gypsies, the witches, the Buddhists, the, you know, the, all the, I like to say pagan, which is everything that's not Christian. So it's getting back to sort of our, our little, our events of what we do and, and bringing back all the people like the shamans. And I've got some uh, people coming from the States that all do the um, shaman Ooh. healing. So yeah, there's a lot of things. Gonna going on. Yes, we're going to have, have all have that. Talks. We're going to have talks. That's what I say. We're, so we've got uh, people talking all the time. With, uh, it's got, uh, it's, uh, we've got two other rooms. See, this was another thing I, I like to do is have two other rooms separate for the talkers and for the people that we televise in so that the readers like you and I that are doing our tea leaf readings, we're not shouting over a talker. So oh. I said, this is what's going to happen. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> so I really wanted to make it a, a an event where the music in, inside where we're doing is just like lovely sort of classical or just light soul music where you know because we just can't can't um you know someone comes on a lot of those speakers come on and you know some of them are very very loud and it does interrupt the others mm. that are trying to concentrate and, and contact spirit or um you know concentrating on trying to hear their customer talking to Actually, them. I remember doing that one time and, yeah, I had a speaker and I was trying to do a reading it's, and, you know, I just couldn't, con couldn't concentrate. Mm. Yeah, it was yeah. horrible. Yeah. 
So it's 11.10 in England. Oh. Yeah, see, that's the morning, morning or night? Night time. Night time. That's 24 <gasps> oh, hours. Oh, night 20. hours, night yeah. hours. Yeah, see, that's that's she'd be drink, You know what? She'd be drinking the good stuff. She'd probably be drinking wine. <laughs> We're drinking tea. She's drinking wine. You know, I should do. I should do an evening show too. I yes. like. I do. Actually, I'm doing one at six thirty. Guess what? My tea can do. Friday. You can put the, the the tea, and we can make Long Island nice teas. Oh, oh yum! Oh yum! We'll do it with okay. love. So we can. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a night show one time, yeah. but I'm doing one on my page, um, the Spiritual Realm with Kate Denning. So that'll be Friday night at six thirty. So you can tune into that as well too and watch what's happening. Um, it's going to be fantastic, like with his festival. So, oh, so that's that's Deb. Um, yes, because so a lot of comics are coming from the Lightworkers Festival yeah. now, from all the people that are really excited that you're coming and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm still working out whether or not I'll, I'll have a stand or I'll just be running around like a blue ass fly. Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> now, on my, on my some... witch's broom. And and do you do the Miami Marquetta? I do markets? do the Miami Marquetta. Actually, Deb runs those, but I do do them. I do come up and I do them. So I think the next one is... Oh, gosh, are you going to be there too, Dom? Fifth? Um, I'm not making the one for next month, but I'll be there on the 1st of April. Okay, so I'm, I'm there on the 5th of Feb. Uh, that's the Miami Maqueda, um at the Gold Coast. And I have a feeling it's from 4.30 to 9.30, but don't quote me. I'm really I'm terrible at times. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Deb's on there. Deb, what time is the Miami Maqueda lovely? 4.30. <laughs> Sorry. I did get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a cup of tea. Yes, now, yes. I don't know what I've done with my money blend, which was She's already She's psychic opened. and she can't find anything. I've just, <laughs> look, I've just thrown stuff everywhere. Like, you should see the <laughs> mess in here. <laughs> Let's just open a new one. Yeah, yeah have a t do you want to do love or do you want to do money? What do you, what's your preferred? What do you, you want to do? Would you prefer mint or would you prefer rose? <laughs> oh, let's do, let's do one of each. Okay. We'll do we'll do a um, a love and we'll do a money. What do you think? A love, love. Oh, and a career. Which one would you use for career? The focus. The, the focus. But that's okay. Um, we don't have the focus with us. We'll just do the love. Yep. We'll do. Um, we'll do a love. It'll all come out oh, anyway in career because with love you've got to love what you're Is doing. It's over there. Yeah. So I've got lovely strong. Karen here helping me. Um, yeah, so love is something that you got to love what you're doing as well. Okay. Uh, they're laughing at us. Send us laughing. Oh, it makes me giggle. <laughs> so we're all we're all having a love. Oh, okay. okay. We're all going to do love. Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, I'm recognising that. Who's that? Deb. It's four thirty to nine thirty, guys. Uh, Miami McKenna, Thanks, the fifth fifth of Feb. Um, that's put on by the Triple Moon Goddess. Expos. Oh, pick a cup. Got, oh, pick a cup. Oh, I, I'm thinking I'm going to have to go for this rose. Okay. I just have to, I just have to go. Just, this reminds me of Beverly Adams. There you go. Who, Ooh. thank you. We'll have the, we'll have the, the China one, seeing as though we're in front of the, um, yep, the, the camera. Yeah, the lavender and that. This reminds me of my grandmother, and Beverly I've got Adams. And the violets. Pink purple. Look at the beautiful, look at this. I feel Ooh. like I could rub it. In the, where's Jeannie? Oh, I got this, um, my mother-in-law, it belonged, it was an engagement present of hers, and then for our it's engagement beautiful. or our wedding, she went and had it silver plated for oh, us and had gorgeous. it done up, and they just had it in the caravan, and um, I just, I absolutely love it, and then on the weekend, on Saturday night, this lovely lady, Katrina, Never met her before, and she bought me these earrings. See, look, they're teapots. So I'm, I think I might be. I was looking at those. Yeah. So I'm going to call myself the tea lady now, because I was thinking. <laughs> well, it's well, appropriate, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's it. I do the. I I'm call the, I'm myself the, the witch. <laughs> well, I'm, you're the witch. <laughs> you're the tea lady. And I'm the tea lady. And together we're magical, making yes. tea. Mmm. Mmm. Now, don't forget. When you have your tea like this, you've got to use your teeth and your tongue as a strainer. Oh. Okay. Um, just amazing. I did a reading on Saturday night for this young girl. 
and we used the meditation blend which has got the lavender in there so I had these lavender pieces come up and um, anyway her nana came through and I could see the figure of this lady in there and I could see the lavender next to her because she loved lavender her nana and anyway there was another figure standing next to her and there was the name John and I said to this young girl I said who's John and she burst into tears and it was it was the husband and wife it was her nan and pop and he'd actually spelt out his name in the cup so I just absolutely oh. love the tea leaves you know this is this is the way I do mediumship I was listening to something last night someone talking about mediumship and you know people out there that haven't done like she'd been doing it for like 30 years and I've been doing this for 10 years okay she'd been doing it for 30 years and um, you've got to do courses to get certificates to do mediumship and um, you know you're not meant to use tools I love to show people what I'm seeing and the tea leaves like spirit just loves us using the tea leaves because they can do things like that there they can write their name in there some of them are so amazing with the messages that you see if you go onto my page I've got one and um, you can see quite clearly in the cup an engagement ring and I did this reading just be only weeks before Christmas and on New Year's Eve she's walk, walking by with her partner and she's put a hand out and she said you remember you did a reading for me the other day she's and um, ring on yeah and and she showed me the ring so she's taken a photo of um, both the teacup and and the ring so I'm pretty sure that that's up on my page but yeah I've seen the just, horse one that's incredible it actually looks like a full horse galloping yep yeah. amazing Quite often I'll see the horse, especially if someone's, like a horse with a rider, if someone's coming into some money and it actually tells oh, them money, yes, like money, one money is, is on, <laughs> on its way. If there's bubbles on the top, um, that means money's coming in um, too. So it was quite amazing because I thought I'd do a, a test last week of um, your different teas and I've been mentoring a lady so we used one like each blend yep. and then with each blend we focused on the money or the, the career yep. or the love and each one of them was exactly that you know wow. what it was about so yeah it was it was really really good so I've only been, I've so only you, been do you ever mix them Oh yeah. So yeah I yes. was gonna say yeah. so like if someone say comes in and say well what is it that your concerns are and they say all well, about abundance and love and maybe focusing on a new career you just put a little bit of each in yeah 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 okay. i'll throw the four in together Good. sometimes yeah. yeah yeah when i actually do them when i'm at the shows i just have the because they can have the they get the money tea to take home i just oh sorry the tea to take home i just get them to shut their eyes and just go over and just pick what they most need and then they pull it up and go Oh my god, I've got focus, I need to focus. <laughs> <laughs> or money, yes, I'm actually looking at a new career. Or love, yes, I'm looking to find the one. Mm. And or or the... meditation, I always say, calm your farm, you need to chill out. <laughs> Reconnect. And I've got the sample jar, I've put them in sample jars now so I get people to smell them and see oh, which one excellent. resonates with them as well. Yes, so. Now how much do you like to leave in the bottom? About that much? Yeah, or... about that much. Okay. You know, not too much that when you swish it around, it's all going to come out when you turn it upside down. Okay. But um, you've got to be careful that you see don't drink it I all. I can see a love heart without even oh, doing yes. Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, the, and it was with the rose petal, too. Yeah. The shape of a love heart. Know. You can't really show it anyone, can you? They can't really see that, can you? Oh, see you see. No. no. The love heart there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you can, you can just see it. Just you see can it, just see heart. it. Okay. Oh, that was nice. All right. Hang on. Let me catch up. <laughs> I was a bit of a gullocks. She's not eating it all. Oh. It's yummy. <laughs> yummy. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you eat it. I was watching this funny show the other day. Um, something on a late at night, and anyway, they got these people to hold a mouthful of. Um, water 
Yeah. And they put raincoats on them. <laughs> and anyway, they had these TV things sitting on their heads. So the other person sitting opposite each other with funny things. <laughs> and next thing, you know, they were supposed to try and hold the water and they just spat nah, it everywhere. Yeah. Lucky they had a raincoat Okay, on. so we're going to give it a bit of a swish around. Turn it upside down on your saucer. Catch up with me. Yes, ma. One, now, two, three. Turn it up, down. Turn I down. like to turn it around three times anti-clockwise. That's what I do. One, yep. So two. that brings through the past and some confirmation for us. And Handle facing towards the heart. Yep. And also, because we, that's how I start my circle, opening my circle, and I close it the other way. I do it differently because we're down under. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everything's back to front. Oh, so you, you teach witchy poo stuff? I, I do. Well, I, I do, but only to certain people. But I am actually going to start next year um, or at the end of this year. Yeah. Oh. I've just got a lot on with the light workers festivals and things like that, getting that up and running. And then, then we'll uh, have a look at that. Maybe I'll do a class there. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. If, <laughs> and if you run your own business too, just um, give me a call if you want to run a workshop at my place. Yep. Um, I've got oh, the that's two what I'll do. I'll yep. run one from your place. Mm. I tap on it three times to bring through spirit guides and ancestors for any messages they may have for us. Mm -hmm. You do anything else special? No, I just do th three times. That's all I do. Okay, then we turn it over. Look, look, see the horse. We're talking about the horses with the rider. The only thing is it's running away from the handle. You don't want it running away from the handle. So this is like me, money coming in and it's going straight out. Um, oh, okay, so we've got some people here we are doing uh, readings for. A lot of the usuals. Hello, everyone. Hi, Lee. Hi, Tracy. Sonia. Corinne. Shazza. Jill. Rachel. Um, Rachel's from the UK, I think. Renee, Pandora, Brenda, Louise, Moira, Katie, Tammy, um, Jane, and Trez. Oh my god. Okay. I've got a, I've got what a, have you got? I've got a koala bear. Look at that. A oh. koala on a branch. And look at this one. This is a person sort of pushing things up, which is kind of the way I feel at the moment. <laughs> pushing everything <laughs> uphill. <laughs> But I do have the koala because I've been really sort of invested about that, as everybody has yeah. been. Yeah. Can't believe it. Is a koala guys in here? Oh god, I you can just, oh, I'm gonna have to take photos and put it up. Yeah. But that is very much been in everybody's mind at the moment with what's going on. I'm just yeah. Yeah, it's just unbelievable. And, how, and we were last week on the show. We were actually talking about how amazing those dogs are that get sent off to the shelters because they're so hyperactive yeah. yet they are the ones that are out there and yeah. saving the koalas, the koalas so yeah. they've found this job Double for them, them and they get so excited like going out and saving these koalas wow. so really sad news and we were talking like last week I went and bought some um, some seed and some food to be left out for the animals even though we haven't got the fires here um, I just but they're still as pushing the, ana to, the animals yeah. yeah they're coming up but the mm. other thing that um, we're uh, seeing birds that we haven't seen for ages yeah because like Karen, right. Karen's had habitat. um what is it the kingfisher kingfisher kingfisher, kingfisher wow. at her Beautiful. place wow. and um, yeah I saw I've been seeing some birds we've had some black cockatoos in our area which we've not had for a long time so all these birds are sort of being pushed out of their habitat. Yeah. So yeah, um, leave stuff out for them because yeah. you know they need they need yeah. the feed. And, and the other thing water. that I've noticed and been seeing a lot of people and they're giving them um, water straight out of the bottles and stuff like that. Apparently it um, drowns, it it drowns them. them. Um, I didn't know that. I only discovered that uh, a couple of days ago. So I sort of I started really putting that out for people to yeah. know because so be it's careful. the first thing you think of. You think oh. I've feed them water and they've been drowning so mm -hmm. um in their like was it lungs or yep. something getting water on the lungs yep so um yeah try not to oh um, my god you've got koalas. a koala too oh look <laughs> i do look look at him oh my gosh um <laughs> <laughs> Now, when you know, quite quite often when I'm doing a a party or um, running a class on tea leaves, we will have something in common, and it will come out in a lot of people's mm. cups, and and it's because of what's going on. Mm. Well, that is um, in common right, right also, now. Yep. So it could be that maybe we should be doing something with the koalas. Yeah. 
um, yeah. and definitely getting it out, mm. getting it out there. So um, I know that there's a couple of people that are raising um, money for for them, and I, I guess what's happening now, which is kind of disheartening, is all these fake profiles with people trying to help, and then they're discovering that they're just <sighs> con artists. I, yep. I can't believe that. I'm also seeing a dog under there too, and a fox. So. Um, please put your dogs away at night time right now um, because you know that's also the koalas um, you know are in danger from yep. from them as well yep. um, and also a lot of snakes would be coming into the so I oh, have to definitely yeah. look at that as well mm. Yes, yeah, one of our friends put a post up only yesterday and she was cleaning a lounge and lifted up the cushion. Here's this big python. <laughs> We're just sitting on that. Oh my yep. goodness. <laughs> okay. Um, so yes, make sure you um, protect the, the wildlife from your animals as well. So that's an important message that's coming up here. And also too, um, you know, it's still quite warm here and what I'm seeing is a dog's head and a shelter here like a dog's house. So make sure when you're going to work that your dog has got enough um, water and shade out there. I've got, do you know this person? That's my daughter. Oh, <laughs> I've got this person walking towards the back of the wagon. Yeah. Come in, daughter. This is Rhiannon. Come and have a hello. seat. Come, welcome come to, hello. Welcome this is just my 18-year-old daughter, Rhiannon. She's also a ah, mini psychic. <laughs> <laughs> She's been working. She, I was meant to meet her at the beach because I thought we were going to the beach. That's oh. who was trying, when I was trying to text before. We couldn't find parking. Yes. But, and I didn't give myself enough time to look either. Okay, so what else are we seeing in the tea leaves? So the dog also talks about, like if we look at the symbol of the dog, it is the best, it's your best friend. It is um, about loyalty. being loyalty, mm. yep, loyalty. It's also protection in money, in uh, like in finances, especially if there's a lawsuit around you. And, and the fact that we've got more than one dog in here too, it's about gathering of friends. Yep, um, your oh, tribe. Yep. yep. What's everyone doing for Australia Day? Um, for the people that live here in Australia, just put it up on the page and let us know because um, I'm thinking about having a picnic and if you're interested in coming to the Bayside, which is in Redlands, uh, send me a message and I'll let you know where we're going to be. That would be fun. Yeah. yeah. A little gathering. Mm. So, so yeah. we can also do a blessing mm. under the sun for all the animals and things like that. Be fun. Oh, I've got You've another, got I've got another dog in here too. Yeah. And a house. Okay, so with the house and we're doing a love reading. Um, Maybe it's finding the dream home. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this, this could be a lot of people are looking at moving on and um, changing house this year. So this is in, oh, I want to say when you're going to a house, you know, we got our house on the 14th of February was oh. when I signed up for it, okay? <laughs> and when I walked into this house, the feeling, it just engulfed you, the warmth and the cosiness of the house. And look, it needs renovations, it needs doing up. We've been your there heart, for 14 your years heart, now. Yeah, but yeah. your heart just felt something. You were at home when you walked in. Mm. Yeah. So it's so important that you put that love into your house or when you go and look for that house that um, you've got to feel it as well. Like the real estate agents hate you saying that. It's no, like, yes, I'll know the house when I say, I was a real estate agent. <laughs> and you've got people coming in and say, I know the house when I see it. And yep. you do, you yep. do. Yeah, I'm looking at the moment. I've got a new, new they're, they're knocking down my house. So I've got to find oh. a new rental. I'm looking, oh, okay. looking at one this afternoon. <laughs> well, I want to say that there's one in light color. Are you looking at now I'm seeing one that's a townhouse and then it might be that you've got the option of two houses and I'm seeing that this one it almost looks like it's a two-story house okay um, like a blonde brick or a, a lightish colored house mm. well, do so, you see a house in here too 
That that's intriguing. I'm still trying to work out what that is, but that's sort of quite mystical. Mm. It's got horns. <laughs> Maybe it's me. <laughs> You're the devil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this this is for everyone. You know the readings that we're doing. Have you got your cards out there? We'll have a look at the cards. I'm just seeing if I can sort of see anything else. Well, we've got oh. some people here. Can you? Yeah. Maybe we have a look at go through and just pick some cards for these lovely ladies. That okay. Are so Leanne is first. Okay. So Leanne with a hyphenated. Oh, we're not going to get through all Ooh, of these. Oh, that's fine. I'm just going to do one card reading for you, and I'm very, very quick. Uh, so what I've got here is I've got two choices. Uh, so there's a lot of action coming up around you. So what that actually means is you're going to have two choices of either a job, a career, or um, a house, or something that's significant to you. You will have two choices, which is really funny because it coincides with what you were just talking mm. about with the house. And I want to say, <laughs> like, with Moira that's just come up here too, she yep. says she's looking for a cottage in the country. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so it was that really funny beautiful. that I just just saw that come up and yep. then this message comes through so yep. obviously Moira that message is for you too yep. and this is also a card of saying um, don't feel bullied into choosing one or the other this choice is actually yours and to stand up and actually say what it is that you want to do so that's for Leanne um, what have we got next then we've got Tracy, Tracy. Lou, Lou. Okay, so Tracy, you've been feeling really nostalgic lately, really thinking about the past and how that sort of affected you. But what I'm seeing here is it's time to let the past go because the future for you is bright and it's saying to celebrate. And as you can see behind you, the, the waters are very calm. So what this is saying is, yes, we do have to be nostalgic about the past, but we need to leave the past exactly where that is in the past and actually realise that we're moving forward into the future. Why don't you read my cup? <laughs> okay. I want to read my cup. Oh, okay, so you've got a tick of approval here. So you, what light is work. it? That's a light workers festival. Oh, okay, so you've got a tick of approval. Now you've also got, look, there's your dog. Okay, <laughs> so you've got, you're working with a loyal friend as yep, well. Yep, so, I've got a doggy. He's a big fat bulldog. Okay, well, I want to say that this is, and he still acts like a pup. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is a big, <laughs> this is a big dog, but you know, you can still see like it's, it's a pup. Yep. The letter J, whose name starts with J? Oh, that's my husband. Okay, so what's it got about your husband? What's he up to? Okay, so he's got the number seven, so, but he doesn't do any psychic work, does he? Oh, he, he, he's, he does, he works, he works for, with me, um, he's a very, he, he knows people very, very well, so he has got, put it this way, you know those people that are psychic but pretend that they're not? Yep. 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 And my husband's <laughs> or see Or sees something, mm. sees something and goes, yeah, I think I saw something, well, maybe I didn't, <laughs> like type of thing, and I was like, describe what it was, and I was like, yeah, you did see something, but then it's just, oh well, uh, put it on the back burner, don't worry about it, get on with things, like. <laughs> Lots of things happen, hey, and it's like they—it's like they're all adding up, and he's still years and years later going, "Oh no, it's uh, no, it's okay." I, I don't think I did see that. I did see it, but I didn't see it. <laughs> so <laughs> head in the sand—that's a good way to say it. <laughs> so what's he up to too? Because he's got the number seven, which is about good luck. Yep. Um, it's also he's the got, psychic yep, number. Yep. He's actually got um, some plans in place um, for this year to actually do some business things. And you've only got the one dog. I've got the one. Moment. Okay, because there's two there. Probably spirit dog. I've is got it? A, I've got a spirit it? dog. It's a little one though. Yeah, I had a um a little corgi. She's with me all the time, princess. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well she's here with you today. Aww. And don't you just like our loved animals will come through when we're doing yeah. readings as well, and you can you can actually see those. So if I turn that around, you can see there's dog number one. Okay, that's her dog now. Then if we turn that, where, where was it? Then we've got the other dog down there. See that little dog? That's a little dog coming through in spirit. And then we have got the tick of approval. And then we have got, where did I see the letter J? I think I've knocked it. No, it must have been. Oh, yeah, there it is. So there's the, there's the little J. Oh, it's back to front and the number seven back to front for you. 
okay so that was around like where her husband is and I actually see a figure um, standing in there too I want to say there might be a little bit of a surprise for them too because <laughs> seven is also about secrets that they're keeping and it looks like there could be a surprise there Oh, yeah. I hope it's a good surprise. <laughs> <laughs> We've just let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> When's your birthday? It's not your birthday. April. Oh, I'm 50 this year. Oh, maybe he's organising something special for your 50th. Oh, well, that might be Do you know nice. what I did for my 50th? Oh. I went on a cruise for the first time. Oh, <laughs> my God, it was magnificent. I haven't been on a cruise either. <laughs> Do a cruise. It's yeah? awesome. Oh, awesome. I'd love to. Yep, I went with my cousin Cheryl. And I hadn't seen her for like 22 years and we caught up. Wow. And, um, oh yeah, we just had an absolutely fabulous time. I think that's, that's what I said. I'd like to do a four days somewhere, preferably where I can walk from one um, wine yard to the next. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should walk. go down to, do to, down to Adelaide. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay. Or so Melbourne. Let's, let's, so let's pull go. pull another card out okay. for Sonia. Sonia. All right, let's have a look at you, Sonia. And now, are you sharing the page to go into the draw to win a half hour reading Ooh, with me? Sonia got the uh, King of Pentacles. So we're actually thinking a lot about finances at the moment and how we can actually um, accrue some more. And often when I see this and being the male, um, um, male, I do feel that you you are being yourself making a lot of the decisions. So I'd say that you make a lot of the decisions to do with how the money is, is going. But I'm also seeing that this is more money coming in. So there's either a promotion coming for you or or you're actually changing jobs. Alrighty, yay for you! <laughs> <laughs> okay, is it Corinne Cook? Oh, it's wonderful if we're related. Corinne. Are you a Michelle Cook? I'm Michelle Milne. Cook is my married name, but most people know me as Milne. Most people know me as the Witcher Moon Slayer, and I don't know who I am at all. That's how I, I'm, <laughs> it's just the Witcher Moon Slayer. Okay, so Corinne, so what I'm seeing here is you're actually walking away from drama. So you're going into what we call a new nine-year cycle. And in that new nine-year cycle, you're looking at what action is needed to recreate or find my passion and how that passion will actually take me on a different walk of life. And that's what you're doing now. So I do feel that you are walking away from drama um, and you're walking towards, as you can see, all the, the cups here. I would like to call them my wine glasses. So you're walking towards celebration or celebrating your life after a time of withdrawal. So that's for you. So, oh, that I love that. Okay, Shazza Roland. Let's have a look, darling. I'm just going through and I'm looking for Kiralyn's um, information of what she'll be doing on the retreat, which is on the, I think it's the 6th, 7th and 8th um, of June up at Nebo, which is 100 kilometres inside of Mackay. Tickets are $1,200 and there is a lay-by system. And, okay, Corinne the Psychic, this is an outline of her workshops. So she'll be doing a class where it cuts down the barriers. This is a workshop to openly connect to participants, participants. <laughs> a series of interactive exercises to assist in breaking down the barriers forming new friendships and developing cooperation within the group. So that will be the first thing that's happening so everyone can get to know each other. There are going to be the glamping tents there. It's oh, the fun. food. And fun. I'll be doing a night of um, bringing in spirit. Um, and then I'll be teaching tea leaf reading up there and palmistry. And there'll be a whole lot of other things. Soul to soul, two to three hours. This is a spiritual connection and development workshop that allows people to work soul to soul and develop their clairvoyant abilities, including connection work, psychometry, shared readings, soul healing, spiritual linking, and circles. Then we've got past life for two hours, outline discussion and guided connection to your past life phobias and your actual past lives a pathway to healing the life blocks you hold we're also doing she's also doing another one where we spend two hours actually meeting our spirit guides and getting to know about them um someone's just trying to ring me go away <laughs> Um, she doesn't really and and then I'll let you. <laughs> Someone's yeah. ring. Go away. Yeah. 
I just hung up on them. Sorry, sorry, whoever that was. Please call back. <laughs> At least I remembered to turn the ringtone off this time. Last week I didn't. It rang in the middle of the show. So um, I'll put more information up on my page, the um, the spiritual room with Kate Denning. And you'll find out more about this retreat uh, that's going to be up at Nebo. Uh, $1,200 and there is a payment plan. Um, I'll be one of the facil facilitators up there taking my gypsy wagon. That'll be fine. Okay, next reading. Okay, so this is for Shazza. I've actually picked the sun. So the sun is a great... Um, <gasps> I love the sun. I do too. Uh, it's actually talking about a couple of things here. One is that if there has been things that haven't been going your way, they are going to turn around. Um, the other one is this is the year of 2020 where uh, sunshine happens. That means you become a lot happier. So when someone becomes a lot happier, sometimes it doesn't mean that circumstances around them have changed, but your attitude or the way you look at them has. And that is coming because there's been some spiritual work coming through her. So I'm saying kudos to you. You got the sun. I love it. It's also your yes card too. So if you had a question, the answer is yes. yes. I talk to the girls, or not girls, and guys a lot about um, manifestation as well yep. and how I create it. I do that through the sun. Yep. And um, what we think about comes about. So just remember um, our thoughts are very powerful and they create um, our reality so you want to be happy. You've got to think happy too. You've got to enjoy yourself. If you start thinking negatively, you are only going to attract more of that. Mm. Because the universe is actually not very, it's not black and white. It just gives you what you want. So, you know, um, you know, if you're actually going out on a date for the first time and you've been in bad relationships prior and you're just going, oh, this is just going to be another pain I don't even know why I'm going well you've basically just said that that's what's going to happen that's what's happened you just come home kick off your, your shoes and go well that was a disaster well you put it out there so <laughs> yeah so you put it out there to get the disaster so if you're truly looking for love you have to be very open with your heart and very positive um, with what it is and that's also one of the reasons why I created the tea to just help love yourself the love tea a lot of people say oh but I've already got love it's about loving yourself so that you allow others to love you I know that do you understand what I'm trying to say do you remember like back at school I mean to think anything good about yourself you were put down you yep. yeah yeah but that's the and it's funny how it's just changed. Yeah, yeah 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 but mm -hmm. I think that's a bit different I think that was more about loving yourself with the ego so you can love yourself enough to make sure that you don't want toxic friends. You can mm. love yourself enough to realise, um, you know, I, I yes, I am an empath and yes, I'm a healer. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to be, you know, constantly running over to this person and running over to this person. Because not everybody's ready to be healed. Not everybody wants to be healed. And so you're mm. wasting your time when you should be actually looking at your stuff and what you need to do. And we all still need to heal ourselves and we still have things mm. that we need to achieve. I think what you're talking about is, you know, people that just walk in and go, mm, you know, just loving it and just just I'm the best and I'm this and I'm that <laughs> and you should talk about that's more tickets on yourself mm. and I think being young like we were we don't not sort of understand that because they say oh you love yourself you love yourself so we sort of took it as mm. oh shit well we shouldn't be loving ourselves and I think yeah. that's why we have a whole generation of, from, from, oh, from, from, from yeah, our from, era from, that was really, really hard yeah. and you, you yeah. just see so many people that just belittle themselves yeah. all the time yeah call yep. themselves stupid like don't do it no no yeah. basically and look at that the, the fact yeah that, you need um, to love yourself first before you can find love too that's right that's right and so that's where the, the love tea actually comes in and helps for that so let's have a look we've got um who was next did we just do shazza yeah jill. yeah jill okay jill, jill are you still there with us yeah we should see who's still Thompson. here too um I'd love, Ashley, I'd love to purchase some tea. Oh, we're down here at Broad, whereabouts are you, Ashley? Um, my shop's up at Wollongabba, and you can always um, let us know which tea you want, and we can post it to you if you're not either near me or Michelle. I'm at the Gold Coast. Just down near Broad Beach? Yep. Um, and yes, yeah, so yeah, basically they can just get it through you. They've got mm. your details here and she gets it from me. So let's have a look at Gillian Thompson. Well, I love this. This is uh, the card 
of celebration it's also the card of renewed love so is there a celebration coming up within your love um, is there an anniversary coming up or are you in a marriage at the moment that's actually about to take a, a different turn because I have got here everyone celebrating so there is a great celebration coming up actually I'm seeing a new car are you getting a new car mm. I just saw a new boom boom because I just went brum brum <laughs> brum oh, brum nice. car yeah, so there's a can celebration coming. Too? Yes, you can have one. We'll yep. all have one. Which colour would you like? I'm having a red Mustang. Oh, are you? <laughs> Could you imagine I'm a red Ferrari. Mustang towing this? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. What? <laughs> but look out for the great celebrations. And the interesting thing is I'm picking up March for you. Now, that would be a yes card too, wouldn't you say? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> definitely yes card. Oh. So it was Gillian. So are these people still on? Because they probably put their names down oh, yes. for long. Jill, Jill just answered. Hi, ladies. So oh, good. I hope that resonated with you, Jill. Let us know. Okay. Francis so Ann, hi, how are you? Who Ra else have we Rachel got now? Rachel Pratt. Rachel Pratt. Now, oh, you she's gone, the she's you haven't the gone to sleep worker. yet, Rachel. She's overseas. Okay, well, I've got you know what? That's probably why we picked the worker. She's got to go to work in the morning. That's much better because she's not here anymore. But I have got the worker. You uh, you work really, oh, really she'll hard. She'll still be on listening. Oh, and I'm seeing that you're about to get fruit for what it is that you're doing. So that means you're going to be a lot more fruitful this year with the money that you're making. This is actually a card that I actually see that it may, if you haven't got a business, you're either thinking about doing another business on the side. Um, and I'm loving this because I'm actually getting February, which is only next month that there's a lots of new um, I like to call them little droplets that your guides put in and suddenly listen to them some of them sometimes you might feel that that's a really silly thing to think but just start writing these things down because they actually start making sense so like when you go for a walk and all of a sudden you get an idea of oh, I need to make pie I mean you think and you just go oh, you go off write it down because there's a reason for why you have Carry to do that with you and it's funny because I had the other day I needed to make pie and I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I haven't made pie in ages. And then all of a sudden I was in the kitchen and I just started making a bacon and egg pie, which my grandmother used to make years and years ago. And it was just a really oh, nice yeah. experience. It brought back memories of some of her sayings. And with one of her sayings, I actually took that on board. What was that? Can't help everyone. You can't help everyone, you've got to help yourself first, which yep. is, goes back to what we were saying before with Definitely. that. But I love that card. Um, that card is also, funny enough that I said that then, you're someone that likes to basically help everyone at work, right? Yes. So basically this is saying you need to start helping yourself more. Isn't that funny how that comes through? Mm. It does it to me all the time. Yep, more balance. Yep. Alrighty, so who's next? Renee? Is Renee still here? <laughs> They're you know, talk, talking about you know keeping a notepad on you so you can write things she's down <laughs> you know she's got they're, a map this is her notepad a, though a, it's like 50,000 pages <laughs> obviously she thinks a lot <laughs> oh I'm shocking like the the a5 this is last year's one which I still carry on me because of the notes that are in there <laughs> <laughs> that's funny all right so who were we doing Renee is she here did she come back up um, I'm not too sure. We've got Tracy there, Francis. Yeah. Um, See a lot of these ones. Jill up. says, "Thank you for your love and messages. Thank you very much. You are welcome, Jill." Yep. Okay. So this is for Renee. So Renee, that to me looks like uh, something's happening around about March for you, where it's a bit of a promotion. And I actually do feel you're either getting a job that you totally love, or you're getting promoted to a job that you totally love. Um, this is also about reaping the rewards of efforts past due. So you've been putting a lot of effort in an area of your life. You're actually going to get the rewards coming through in March. This is also a yes card. Mm. I also see that sometimes as like um, getting help and building your own business too. Yep. yep, yep, which also has to do with your work career and getting what, what it is that you want. So mm. I love that card. I love that card when that card comes up. The only thing is, I, and another reason why I love it, notice here how he's only got one shoe on. That's, that's me after a night out. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I don't even bother putting I'm the Cinderella. Shoe. I'm Cinderella. <laughs> My Cinder shoes are bloody off <laughs> <laughs> Okay, is it? Oh, I can't say that. Is Pandora? Oh, Pandora. Pandora. Oh, Pandora. About Pandora wanted to know. She wanted a car too, and she's in a wheelchair. Oh, okay. So Pandora. Oh, it's just 
picturing you on one of those bikes you know you can just wheel your wheelchair up onto the bike and you'll have that little trike going around you know who <laughs> who was that used to ride around australia that comedian he come oh, out here. oh billy God, was, billy billy, billy. Billy, he used to oh. say the F-bomb all the time. Billy yeah. Connolly. Bill <laughs> yeah, go and get yourself one of those trikes and yeah. you can just roll onto there with, with your wheelchair. It's funny you say that because you've got the card of ideas and thinking about ideas. And that's also the card of study. So obviously um, you love to do things or your, or your mind. Wine works very, very quickly. And it is saying that, you know, some doing some online courses or learning something new is so, uh, would be very good for you because it's also bringing around some lovely new ideas that are coming through. Especially 2020 is an awakening year for a lot of people. And I feel that a lot of us will uh, sort of wake up, especially around about March and go, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Do I want to do this? Do I want to be here? Do I want to be with this person? Um, do I want to be doing that career? Do I even want to be living here? Like it's a big wake up call 2020. Um, but mm. I love that card um, because it's actually saying study is on the agenda, learning something new and great little insight coming for, forward for you in 2020. So look at the time that you just can't get out at the moment, Pandora. She's sort of stuck at home. Okay. She's had some um, horrific things happen last year and she's just been to the doctor and... Um, well, that would keep your mind off it, keeping yep. your mind, because you, that's why I'm seeing your mind is active. You can talk yourself into something, out of something. So if your mind is very, very active and, and you're actively thinking about the things that have happened to you too, um, what I'm seeing is that can sometimes hinder us from um, actually getting better quicker so it's, it's saying to take your mind off it definitely go and start doing some study because there's some great things that i feel she, says she studies all the time oh! she loves the knowledge yes so much brilliant <laughs> well there's more more coming um but i do see great ideas where this knowledge of what you're learning actually gets you onto the new path or what it is that you want to do um and i do see you I'll, i will pick another card for you for your healing sweetheart okay what I love about this card is the card of the sacrifice. And the card of the sacrifice is basically saying the sun will come up. So even though you're feeling battered and bruised, you have got this lovely eagle, which is knowledge, okay? But the thing is the sun's coming up in your life and not down. So to me, with healing, it's my, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. The sun's coming up, the sun's coming up. But right now, use that knowledge, which is, is, is your brain. So definitely start doing and the study. And to me, like the eagle's also about the spiritual journey yeah, too. Yeah, and it's definitely. like really rising to the heights when Phoenix. it comes to spiritual journeys. Yeah. 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 So we'll, we'll do one more because we are out of time now. But I'd like to thank, say thank you very much for all joining us. Have you shared the page and have you written me please? Because Karen's just going to hand me over the list now. And I shall pick out a winner for the half hour reading with me. And then all you have to do is send me a message and uh, a private message to Kate G. Denning and give me your phone number and we will organize a time to do that um one more reading and then yep. i shall pick the winner so i'll just give you a chance to go and put your name now okay so we'll just do maura MacArthur. let's have a look maura oh the card of the opportunity, and this is a Pisces card too. So it's also opportunity, opportunity where uh, sometimes, uh, you know, you are what we call the great little empath. And sometimes what happens is we go with our feelings all the time, which is great. Um, but I'm actually seeing that sometimes we can go with the feelings and it's because of we are feeling like I can't I can't do that or I don't feel that sometimes they're false and what I'm seeing here is you need to say yes to everything that's coming in in 2020 because you're gonna miss some great opportunities because there are some great opportunities I always say I always say bite and chew like mad until you achieve it <laughs> <laughs> Now, just looking at that, I just got a message too because I'm seeing the guy with the drink in his hand and he's on the horse. So just be careful of what you're drinking too and then don't get in the car and drive. Yeah. I'm seeing someone sort of drinking a bit like a fish and maybe they need to yeah. um, change their ways. I'm not saying that it's you but somebody that's around you. Mm. But, um, I mean, take that message on yourself too if you, if you do drink, but yeah. Just yep. be just be careful of that. Yep. And that, uh, yeah, as I was going to say before, it is the card of opportunities. And often what we do as being impasse is 
we, we, we know, well actually we feel that it would be great for us but then we feel that we won't be able to do it but logically um, our head sometimes overrides that feeling too and we go no we're not going to do it and we're not going to do it, it's too much for us. I'm saying do yes, take everything, do everything, do everything that's actually coming up in 2020 for you. That's for Moira. And I'll put the uh, Lightworkers Festival page on here. We'll just oh, put yep, the link yep, we'll so put, that people we'll put the can link come. up here after. Come and, and I'll get us. that off to you. And the winner for the one hour reading is congratulations, Deborah Cowland. Yay! So, Deborah, you need to send me off a message with your phone number, okay? Um, She's saying she doesn't drink much at all. Wonderful. So, was that a reading for Moira? That that was this one where I said to her, take the opportunities, and don't mm. you know? Basically, your gut instinct's going to be telling you, oh, I don't know if I can do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Or, or your head's telling you that. I'm telling you to do it. And as I say, jump on in. But even if you think it's too much for you to chew, just bite like mad and chew, chew, chew until you get it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're welcome, Bernadette. Okay, I hope you are, you are welcome, Deborah. So make sure you send me your details, Kate G. Denning. Okay, um, Pandora saying congratulations. Hi, mm. Joe. How are you? Um, Joe is one of the readers at the Tea Room, and she will. I think she's in this Saturday. Yeah. Um, hi, Angela. So anyway, everyone have a lovely day, and thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much for joining oh. us and letting us know all about your beautiful oh. teas. Oh, thank you. And definitely, and if you're interested in the tea, get hold of Kate because she actually, I'm, I'm very grateful <laughs> she uses my tea. But it is a lovely tea. Oh, I've look, spent it years, is, years it is, putting it together. It's really yummy and, funny and it's enough, great to read on, with. That's bizarre. I was telling you how I started my teas because of my daughter, Rhiannon. Here she, she is. is. <laughs> Did you see that look on her face? She was like... <laughs> Looking out the window, I wasn't expecting that, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll be—I'll be back again same time next week, and we're <laughs> off to Shade de Montfort's place next week. And now we're just going to go down to the beach. Oh, we're heading off down to Cool and Gadda. So if you want to come and visit us, um, Adrian, who has got his show coming up at twelve o'clock, which I think is eleven o'clock our time. He is going to be down at Cooling Gatta, so we're going to um, go and join him with his show. We're just going to sit on the sidelines and watch him, yeah. Oh, I, was, I was the front cover, or his, or his cover girl in, um, of his last magazine. I love Adrian. If he's watching, hi, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> he's been around a long Adrian time doing Hanks. shows. Oh, wrong one. I thought yeah. it was Adrian Moore. No, no. Oh, wrong Adri Adrian. Adrian Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he's he's done a book on. Um, he usually does Corumbin too. Oh, forget what's he done? Forget what he's. It's a workshop book. It's fabulous. It's about creating the life that you want, you know. And and he's very good. So yeah, he he'll be up doing his talk at twelve o'clock. So we'll be down there with the gypsy wagon if you want to come and see us. Um, I don't know whereabouts yet. I'll um, put it up on the page when we get down there. So have an awesome week, everyone. Keep safe, sending you lots and lots of love. And then I'm going to be running a show from my page, The Spiritual Realm with Kate Denning at 6.30 on Friday night. So you can join me there too. Okay, okay. bye for bye. now. Oh, I can't get it. <laughs> <laughs>